And welcome back everyone to another Diacon dissectional production hosted by Deathstroke9. Today we're going to be reacting to Disturbed, the sound of silence. Let me know if there's any other songs you'd want me to react to by Disturbed, because I'm pretty sure people have told me this is definitely not very representative. Repre this does not represent their sound very well. Um, uh, but, you know, this it's just the way it is. Um... We're doing this because cover comparison time, we're going to be checking out Simon and Garfunkel's... We already checked out Simon and Garfunkel's uh, Sound of Silence. Now we're going to be seeing how Disturbed put their own spin on it, hopefully. And if they didn't, then we'll see. So, as always, I'm going to be comparing to, but... Again, just like every time I do this, I'm going to reiterate that it doesn't really matter which one you like better. Let me know if you want. And it's all just opinions, so... Yeah, whatever I say is just my opinion. You feel free to disagree with me. Okay. Um, now, this has a music video. The past few times I've done music videos, they've always gotten blocked. So I'm going to try to pause it. Like, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right. Um, let, me, let me put in Disturbed for lyrics. I wonder if they change the lyrics at all. Probably not, but Disturbed. And there we go. Just back up out of that. All right, let us begin. Three, two, one. Okay. Burning piano. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again because a vision softly creeping. It seems while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain Still remains within the sound of silence What a powerful voice, wow and it seems like he's holding so much back. <laughs> wow. Okay, so first of all, love the piano. Like, the pianos do, like... Yeah, wow, they, they completely... I love that they made different instruments. It, they, they made the cover their own. Great, awesome, love that. Um, yeah, wow. In the music video so far, we've seen... Um, We've seen a burning piano, a guitar with dirt all over it, and a man reaching up to get a drum out of a tree. So it's like all the instruments are destroyed, but we must come back and bring bring back the the music, you know. Hello darkness, my old friend. Such a powerful opening line. Wow. All right. I'm going to shut up. Let's keep going. Oh, son. In restless dreams I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a street lamp I turned my color to the cold and damp We got strings too? my eyes were stemmed by the flash of a new Split the night and touch the sound of silence. And in the naked light, I saw wow. ten thousand people, maybe more. People talking without speaking. People hearing. Stop. 
it's building up. I don't. I'm, okay. Um, very, 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 very powerful. Wow. I almost like this more than the original version, if you can believe that. Um, I really like the video. He he's walking and he sees all of those. He sees the people, the the people, and they're all like bowed down. In the song, it says that they're bowing to their um, neon idol or the neon god that they built or whatever. So many awesome instruments, and I love something I love about both versions of the song is that it gets it's all eerie, and then it gets almost like. It soars up, you know, it, it stops being like super sad and turns into a little bit different, right? Um, this one also feels more sad, like the, like the Simon and Garfunkel one felt a little bit melancholy along with kind of warning you against something. This one feels just sad and like he's... And a little bit angry, too. Just a little bit. All right, let's keep going. Turn the sound of silence. Fool said I, you do not know. Silence like a cancer grows. Hear my words out. time sorry um yeah that's the last time let's let's just keep going Tenement halls, whispered in the sound of So first off, I got chills listening to that version. Like, when you started getting angrier near the end there, and it got, it built up, um, I, <laughs> wow, I, uh, yeah, I got chills all up my spine, and his, they're, so, hmm, all right, I can't even talk. They are in a boat, right? They're going over to the people who are all bowing to the neon god or what that they made. People with no this no sound. He's trying to yell across to them, but his his uh, words echo like raindrops, as he said. And then we have him in a boat sailing over, and they and it looks like the the band and then some other people because there were some other instruments in there that I don't think are uh, normally in a metal band, so. Um, wow, that is a very, very powerful cover. Knocked it out of the park. Okay, um, both versions are really, really, really good. Um, 
I would listen to them both again, to be totally honest with you. And I liked, I really like the folky feeling of Simon and Garfunkel, like the actual feeling that is evoked from them. I've, to, I've talked about that in the last video, like made me think of forests a little bit and trees and, and rural areas and um, streets of cobblestone, he says, in both songs, obviously. But I like that feeling that Simon and Garfunkel's harmonies and guitar work make me think of. Um, but this version, wow. <laughs> wow. That was an incredible cover. Great job, Disturbed. Huh. All right. Let me know if there's anything else by this group you'd like me to check out. Are they... Yeah. That was really, really, really good. All right. Thank you for joining me. Um, let me know which... This was a cover comparison, so... They're both awesome. That's that's my verdict. They're both awesome. Um, this one, I personally might like a little bit more the Disturbed uh, cover of it. But, I mean, Simon and Garfunkel are the ones who originally wrote the lyrics, and I love the lyrics so much. Um, so let's see if there's anything that I can add to this Let's um, before I sign off. Go ahead and like that. <laughs> All right, what are the comments? What a voice. Yeah, you, you, you kidding me? Um, Sound of Silence and Zombie are the best remade songs in the 2000s. Untouchable masterpieces. Okay. Interesting. Did Disturbed remake a song called Zombie? All right, um, I can't listen to this without bawling and crying my eyes out. My daughter introduced me to this version. She, oh, oh God, she overdosed and died in January 2020. All I have now is silence and dreams of her presence. I miss my little girl. I love you. God says, David, would you like the voice of an angel or the voice of a demon? David says, yes. If this doesn't move you, you're dead inside. Go hit replay and listen again. Someone wrote, I can't believe more than 200,000 people didn't like this version. Yeah, 10,000 maybe more. 10,000 people maybe more. All right. Very, very powerful version. Let me see if I can find anything on... Um, Disturbs version of it. Like, does. Song meanings. Let's see if anybody has any comments on this. There are a couple comments. Let's go down. I've loved um, Disturbed for its blatantly heavy sound, but I have to say their covers are by far my favorite part of what they do. I didn't think they would ever top Land of Confusion. However, this song just leaves it in the dust. Oh, they covered Land of Confusion too. Might need to do that as well. Land of Confusion is by um, Genesis, right? I think. Yeah. There is something so ethereal and powerful to hear a singer who has defined himself with a very distinct vocal style sing completely contrary to that style. Uh, okay. After watching with reverent awe and honor, Draymond pays to the song on his interview with Loud Wire. I'm even more impressed with the song. I personally feel he tops it. He tops the original. But it does not in any way diminish the original, which is still amazing. I feel both songs exist well by telling the same story from two emotional, from two different emotional viewpoints. In Simon and Garfunkel's version, it's like they've been living in the world forever, and all they have left is the ability to softly cry out against what they see is wrong. So there is this air of crushing sadness that permeates throughout the entire song and ends with this quiet admission that they failed to end the sound of silence, the cancer. With David, it's more like he just realized this is the real world he's been living in. So it starts off with this haunting, reflective sadness, like remembering something depressing but significant from your childhood. Then he, at first gradually, then rapidly shifts from frustration to anger at the fools who would not take his arm or hear his words, finally shifting to a depressing acceptance like Simon and Garfunkel, that he also failed to end the sound of silence. In a word, moving. <laughs> Oh, wow. 
This is interesting, but I'm going to read it anyway. This person is responding to, the, to that comment I just read. I totally agree with your point of view. Well stated. I might add that David Draymond's ability to convey raw emotion and bring life to the story is a lot like legendary artist Johnny Cash. Might I add, Draymond understands that silence is consent. Yes, that's what I got from the original version of the song, is that it's like when people see wrong and they do nothing about it. So it says, anytime church leaders remain silent about um, terrible things that happen within their ranks, they, assent, they consent to the atrocity. Anytime law enforcement officers close ranks to protect their own when police brutality has occurred upon the citizens they are sworn to protect, they consent to the abuse. Anytime... Mm, mm, anytime non-minorities remain silent about the problems minorities are faced with, they consent to those problems. Okay, I'm not... Yeah, mm-hmm. Fools, said I, you do not know Silence Like a Cancer Grows. Powerful rendition of this song. I grew up with the original, but this cover is better and more compelling. All right. Um, yeah, I just thought I, I really couldn't read everything on that because I try to keep most political stuff off my channel, but that is true. This song, I feel like, definitely has that. All right. Um, thank you for joining me. A great song wow powerful powerful song okay um yeah i personally personally like this version just a little bit more than the original but i love them both um and yeah thank you guys for recommending this i think next up on our cover comparison list will be uh simon and garfunkel america and then yes america um i'm excited for that and yeah, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Deathstroke 9, out. Silence like a cancer grows. Do not be silent.